the terrorists one night. I knew I could trust you. If Barkov's there, he's mine. This is a covert operation to destroy Barkov's gas lab. Nikolai is on the inside. He'll provide the explosives. Two teams will infiltrate. Garrick and I will plant charges on the pipeline. Far and Alex, you'll get a detonator from Nikolai and rig the main furnace. When the charges are set, get a safe distance and bring it down. That support from Laswell paves the way. Rest is up to us. Troops in the open north side of the bridge. Call for fire. Three seconds to it, Right. Bell's wrong. Let's see who's home. Clara, yalla, yalla. Perimeter's open, Kate. We're moving in. We're Alex now. Candy we got Hideous Sniper Rifle. Out. Hell yeah, I love this thing. Air are all yours. Copy. Good on you, Kate. You have the concrete one. Shoot smart. Watch her out. Back up. Dead one, of course. Echo, Jaguar is ready for tasking. Mark your target. Gun is on the range! I mean, what am I marking? Enemy halo! Inbound! Shut down. Halo down, good hit! Missile out. Jesus Christ. Rip everyone's ear. That's so loud! Is it? Four. Here we go. out way too far uh this feels like end game is this end game or maybe it's like i don't know let's keep going ow play Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, I have done. Not very good at it. Price! Hey, buddy.
Where's that even being launched from? I mean, yeah, Sam, I will do that, but... God, that's so cool, though. Ooh, nearly sh fucking shot you, Kyle. Holy fuck, I got him. Your motherfuckers give me a good sniper rifle on a video game and don't use it. Well, that was loud. We're here now. Let's get a press. Echo team, this is your start line. Find your way to Nikolai for the charges. Back it up. Marco could use the gas. Let's go to work. They're well armed for a lab. Everyone, fan out. Heads up. Grenade. Uh. Did I use the noob tube like an undersl underslung shotgun? Hell yeah, I did. More than one way to fry a fish. Or kill Russians. You gotta sit, improvise, adapt, and overcome when you're in war. Trust me, as someone who's never been in a real war before. Officially. I need a level three! Not sure if it's disrespectful or genius. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, sometimes we gotta blare those lines. Oh, that's kind of fucky. Nikolai, how the fuck did you get in here? 
quickly, get their charges. The detonator will start the chain reaction. Load the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. All right. Why help us? Barkov is a stain on my country. It will not stand. Спасибо, Николай. Thank you, Nikolai. I'll take the rest of Price and Sergeant Garrick. See you on the other side. Let's get it. Oh yeah, let me breach with that. Good idea. Ow! Excuse me? Okay, stop so legal in Australia. You scared shitless. Take some flashbangs. They really want to pick up this incendiary thing. Oh, fuck. An actual juggernaut. Fuck, they threw a juggernaut at me? You do no such thing, Boris. They said big boy. I'm so fine. Mara, we've got a problem. What is it? Echo, this is actual. How copy? Send traffic actual. Good eyes on General Barkov. I say again, Barkov is moving to the helipad. Echo is approaching the furnace now, actual. Set your charges and move. Roger, Echo out. You heard him. Let's get it done. You're not gonna tell them that the fucking detonator doesn't work? There's a door! On it! Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. That was dangerous. It's dead. I'll go in there. They do what? Ignite the furnace. We'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire, and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been an assignment of my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. 
You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. And now they're going to find an American body here, which is just going to start us so much shit. Because the whole thing is that they send in these, uh, like, freedom fighters, and the Russians think that they're terrorists, right? If they find an American body there, they're just going to be all like, well, the fucking Americans did it, didn't they? Let's start World War Three. This is not a prequel, it's a reset thing. Bravo, Echo is set at the furnace. Barna's going for the general. Roger, Echo. Fighting to the pipeline now. Set, Sergeant. No ROEs now, huh, Captain? Not at all. Uh, Slowly with that sniper. Oh. OPG, left side! Over by the barrel! Okay, this gun's pretty nice. Very slow, though. Which makes sense, because... I don't know. There was there was a time skip for Marta. He, he he could have very well banged the sister. In fact, I'm pretty sure he did. Keep pushing, Kyle. Get in there. We're clear. Bravo. On me. Pipes lead this way. Let's get this done. Yes, sir. Holy fuck! It's like a water slide. Alright, set the charges. Let's go. Yeah, her radio would totally get run away. Gun. Grab the gun. He's gonna go for it. Get the gun. I told you, far a long time ago. Your country breeds terrorists. This is for my family, bitch. This is for my family. This is for Hadir. What the fuck? Uh, camera? Okay. Uh, what's the status? Captain, Barkov is dead. Roger that. 
Alex, charge is set. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All clear, Captain. Just get a second detonator. That's why you bring right. two. All stations on my mark. Three, two, one. Russia would approve. Oh. Where to? Orzikstan. Home. Tea? Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. Um, what exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. No. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakaya von Sparkov's throne. Oh, my I God. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. They give me what I need. Who's your crew? Don't do it. You're gonna do Sergeant it, you man. Yes! Kyle? <gasps> they call him Gaz. He never said anything. John Octavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, that's fucking ghost. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. When is with the deal? What are you calling this task force? Say it. Say it. One for one. Holy fuck. I just nutted like a liter. <laughs> Wow, okay, so this takes place before Modern Warfare, but it doesn't really make sense. It's a, it's a, it's a hard reboot, obviously. And there is an after, yeah, well, I'll wait for the end state, don't worry. So, this is a hard reboot, obviously, because this place takes, takes place in 2019, but the original Modern Warfare takes place in 2005, so this is obviously a hard reboot, but holy fuck. Alright, so let's talk about this. Um, you know what? I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I wish that... I don't think they'll redo the story because we've, all, we've obviously already told that story and they've already remastered that story. It might be a different sort of chain of events or they might not touch it at all. Um, right, so let's talk about it. First impressions of the game were pretty bad. Obviously, a 120 gigabyte download is a lot, regardless for a game. Um, but, you know, some people are playing it just for multiplayer as well. Um, it looked amazing, looked phenomenal. Looks really, really good. Uh, like, it was beautiful. The entire time, beautiful. I only wish that, at least for performance-wise, it worked a little better. Um, and I wish that the cutscenes were fixed, uh, before I played it, because it kind of took it out for me. Uh, 
yeah, uh, the gunplay was amazingly well done. I like that they threw in a few different, uh, I want to say gimmicks, but they're very not, they're not very gimmicky at all. They threw in a lot of different, um, what are they? Like, uh, things to do. I'm blanking on the word right now. Mechanics, there we go. Like a few different mechanics, like, um, the one where you control the lady that goes through the, the desks and stuff like that, and piloting the, you know, the drones and everything, but it still had the very core, um, gunplay sort of thing. The only thing I would say about it is that the finale was kind of lackluster for me, but it was still pretty good. It looks really good, and and when I when I play it off stream, I'm definitely going to crank it up and make it look even better. Um, I like the references that they had to the original people. That was really good. It was heavy. It was brutal. It was very gritty, and I really like that because, you know, for the longest time, Call of Duty's been this weird sort of far off future, jumping around, not really, you know. This was gritty. They threw different stuff at you. They kept you on your toes. It was a very cliche ending, but I feel like, you know, I, I kind of liked it. I think it fit. It, as long as it fit, that was pretty good. It didn't feel repetitive. There was a lot of games in the Call of Duty franchise that were very much, you know, enter a mission. Uh, it's stealth. You fall out of stealth. It goes cover, shoot, cover, shoot, cover, shoot, you finish. You know, a bit of a cinematic. You know, or you don't even go on stealth, you know, you just jump in, cover, shoot, cover, shoot, sort of thing. This was nice, it kept you on your toes, you know. A lot of civilians around too, and it gives you a ranking based on, you know, how well you did as like an operator, stuff like that. I felt like I was more playing Rainbow Six Siege at a lot of points than I was Call of Duty. The gunplay was awesome. Um, the speed as well. When you're just walking normally, it feels like you're at like a normal walk. But when you're sprinting, it feels like a light jog. It doesn't feel like a sprint like you get in like Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 and all that, yeah? But all in all, I think, at least for the campaign's sake, absolutely amazing. Some points of it felt a little weak though. I didn't feel as much of a connection to the characters um, as I would have liked. Um, and it felt a little short. Let's see, I probably played, what, this is about five hours I've spent playing this game, but it, it, it doesn't feel like that. Now, you guys can decide whether or not that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. The entire time I was having a lot of fun, other than the performance issues, which will be ironed out in patches anyway. I really liked it. Um, I don't think there's really much else to say. The characters were likeable, even though Price was a different voice actor and a different person. They kind of get away from that because it's a, it's a reboot, right? And I didn't go into the game expecting old school price. I expected the new one, so I wasn't too disappointed by that. But yes. All in all, it, it really, it didn't feel like old Call of Duty. It felt like Call of Duty on, a, on steroids. They really amped it up. Task Force 1 for 1 is back, baby. Thank you, Obi, for the 100 bits. But yeah, what did you guys think? To be honest, it's bad for me. I like the older CODs where the characters made me feel attached, like I'm one of them, a team member in the story point. I could see that. I guess because this one you were jumping between three characters through the actual thing. So you weren't one character that was constantly, you know, you weren't evolving as a character. You still, like, you, your entire playthrough wasn't this overarching character progression. You're seeing three or four different characters progress slowly and in smaller amounts. So you feel less attached. But still, I liked it. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I mean, all the CODs were like that. Yeah, but in every single Call of Duty, you had the main character that you were playing as, right? Uh, at least one or two. Soap. Um, you know, and they all had their sort of big arcs. This one wasn't so much of their arcs. Like, um, Kyle had his arc. That was pretty impressed. Like, it was pretty good the way he kind of came to terms with the fact that... I I'm not sure if he was originally SAS or just a beat cop. I think he was like a beat cop or something like that. Um, 
and he became SAS or something like that. But, uh, yeah, and the reveal that he's actually Gaz at the end, holy shit. That's awesome. Uh, from what I saw, it was a really enjoyable, disappointing ending with the fact there wasn't a badass moment playing as Price, but I enjoyed it. We can't handle Price. Price is too powerful right now. We need to at least have three games before we can play as Price. For longer than a mission. We've, we've done this, right? We've been through this. But, you know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It felt more, uh, it felt very much today. It felt very 2019, right? I feel like the story could have used a little bit more work, to be honest. It was very cut and dry. Go here, find this person. We lost this person. Go find that person again. Find this person now. This person said to do this. You know? There wasn't any weird flip at the end. Alright, let's have a look at this cutscene. Aww. Oh, don't. I think I know who this is. Please tell me it's not. Yep. under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once, but it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Aki didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice fit. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. You've been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatellas the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. That's the problem. For everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Oh, this must be for the spec ops. No, that was the, um... Uh... Al-Assad. <clears throat> I believe. 